Okay, well in the previous videos, I showed you how I create a wall decal design using Adobe Illustrator CS2. And it really doesn't matter which version you use. Um, but I use CS2. And then I showed you how I import that, uh, that design into Photoshop to create the picture display. So I, th that was the first two videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, take that display, that picture that we created, to create a listing on Etsy. So that's what we're going to do. So what I need to do is go right up here where it says your shop and I'm going to add new because I'm going to add a new listing to my shop. Now I'm already signed into my shop so I don't have to worry about signing in. And so I have to, who made it? I have to answer these questions. Who made it? I did. What is it? It's a finished product. And when did you make it? Well, it's made to order so it's not actually made. Now what is it? It's, it is houseware. I always choose houseware for, for my wall decals. Uh, and it's a wall decal. And what type? I, you know, sometimes I can't match it. So since it is for children, I just choose children. So now add photo. I'm going to add the photos that I created. So uh, here's Angelica. That's the design. And you'll see it pop up right there. Then I'm going to add another photo. And this is the color choices. This, this is, I included all my listings as well as um, shipping because I like the customers to see how they will be shipped. I don't want them to think it's going to be like in an envelope for these large decals. Um, so there you go. Now item title. I already came up with that one not to waste time so I have it on my notepad here. So I pulled up my notepad. I'm going to select my, item, my title, copy it, and paste it there wall vinyl decal figure skater with custom name I try to make these uh, titles you know keyword friendly so I you know I use those keywords wall vinyl decal figure skater if people are looking for that specifically now let, let me go back to my notepad because I need to add my description so this is my description all the way down here now I use the description the same description more or less for everything some variations sometimes but um, it's more or less the same the same format, except the first part, of course, it, would, it describes it. This listing is for a custom wall decal figure skater with a custom name. The decal is 22 inches tall by 18 inches wide. And I, in parentheses, I say, depending on the length, length of the name, because you never know. So, and then, so that's it. That's the, uh, the whole description. Now, shop selection. These are uh, shop, um, shop selection, shop, shop section. And these are sections that I created for my shop. And I'm just going to choose children of all ages. And then who is it for? It's for children. I don't want to put teen girls or girls. I want to put children because really, I mean, um, a, a, a lot of kids would, you know, different ages would like to, to have that wall decal. Now, um, the occasion, I really don't have an occasion, so I'm leaving that one alone. But if you do have an occasion, you want to take advantage of all these uh, descriptions here. Okay. Uh, this style, again, you know, I don't have a particular style for that. And tags, this is very important. You need to use all 13 tags. You don't need to. You could use one tag or whatever, but you should use all 13 because it really helps when uh, when people are looking for your stuff. So I'm going to wall decal. I'm going to add some tags here. Enter that. Wall sticker. These are important tags. Wall vinyl. Uh, let me add a couple more. And I could always come back and edit. You know, I can op you know, reopen my listing and edit my listing. So I want to leave it at that for now. But I have nine more tags to, to go, and I'll come back to it. Material. Wall vinyl decal. That's, that's what I put there. So I'm going to add that. Good. And price. I love this part. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it $18. And uh, my shipping uh, profile, which I've set up several. I'm going to just use this one here because it has what I currently use, uh, the prices I currently use for shipping. And that's it. Um, now I just click on this little preview listing button and see what it looks like. And there it is. Now I can preview it. And if I see something uh, wrong, misspelled, whatever, and, and it happens all the time, I could just go back and edit. But it uh, looks pretty good, so I'm going to just click on Publish. And it's published. Uh, um, that's it. It's published. So I'm going to go to my shop, and it's going to be the very first item right, right here. 
and that's it it's done so um you know that's how uh that's how i go about uh creating my listing thanks for watching and i'm going to continue creating uh these instructional videos so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video